Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it is already time for the May Mining Farm update. We do this on every first Tuesday of the month, talk through all the machines and what is upcoming for the channel. I just have to say before we start, Bitcoin you have been doing nice. Where to start? In GPU land, my whole card consolidation plan has been put on a bit of hold since the pandemic started and now I finally have time to reawaken it. To recap, I basically was turning older and smaller cards into newer, more efficient cards. Say my older Nvidia cards into 1660 Super. That went well and in terms of older generation and smaller cards, there are only two 1060 6 gig left I might use in a build at some point. Other than that, only the stronger older Nvidias are left, for example a trusty 1080 and 1070 Ti, which I was thinking I might as well hold on to. They are easy to run efficiently, still powerful and actually might borrow one of those for an upcoming personal system I'll spoil a bit more about in a bit. That was the Nvidia side, which as you know lives in the Octominer case and board. Now I am thinking of doing similar things on the AMD side, especially with my 4GB cards, say the whole RX 580 rig as a whole. That means slowly starting to consolidate the cards into stronger cards. For now I am thinking of trying out the 5700, probably non-XD, as I never had one of those in hand for trying out on GPU mining. In that regard one very random question to you folks. Which model would you take, the MSI Mac or the Asus Dual 5700? I'm seeing offers on both and never had experiences with either type of coolers. So I wanted to ask you. That's my thought on the AMD side of things for now. If you're doing something similar or well, the completely opposite in terms of cards, please tell me in the comments below. Also, I recently asked on Instagram, but also wanted to ask you here. Do you have any fan recommendations for a close trick? It doesn't have to be shiny, but also it doesn't have to be the classical server fan jet engine. I know Noctua would be the way to go for what I want, silence and power, but I still wanted to ask you folks first if you have any recommendations for stuff to try out. Other fan testing from budget to more expensive in some other regards is still upcoming though too. In terms of what the GPUs have been mining I have also been switching around again a bit. The 1616 Super is currently doing some Zcoin testing MTP, AMD cards from ETH Classic to Ethereum itself and the Octaminer Nvidia cards unchanged on ION, the open application network. While we are at the topics of builds, you recently saw the well, most crazy machine I ever featured on the channel in the 4x3900x video. I might spoil that making that video finally brought me over the edge to pull the trigger on parts for my personal new build. A video making and off time mining workstation build will be upcoming soon, you can be sure of that also of course means more opportunities for random eggs and CPU mining as well. Same here as many of you are probably experiencing right now shipping delays in everything one tries to do. ASIC wise, well I can honestly report no changes. For now I am keeping what I have off, but I have to say I've been seriously looking at Bitcoin miners again, especially since the Hivon firmware video recently featured on the channel. With the disclaimer though that exactly before and after halvings, as we will be having very soon, these are always dangerous times for Bitcoin miners. I personally, just speculation, expect Bitmain to be already mining on the newer model, either pushing them out before or after the halving, probably after. So again, I'm unsure. Last but not least, the F1 Mini FPGA also changed algo again. I think the last time I was mining Digibyte was with a Baikal in 2017. Now I was trying out Autocrypt. Some problems initially, <laughs> updating which were quickly resolved. To be transparent here, not a project I necessarily plan to hodl. <laughs> 
along the lines of updating the thing though and also for the fact that one of my favorite videos on the machine is still locked from youtube from the crypto purge i think i might give it a dedicated video and update soon keep your eyes open for that too other than tech and crypto i can report the situation in austria has been well quiet i have to say slowly things are reopening 50% of people are worrying that this is going too fast and this will make new problems in the first place and the other 50% are saying finally it was about time. What do you folks think of that? That's already it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm eager to get into building and bring you more content. I hope all of you are staying safe and well out there in the world right now and also that your machines are staying stable too. Thank you very much. Have a good one. As always, happy mining and... Bye.